G'day mate. Yeah, so I was in Discord about a week ago chatting to Witsit uh, about the sun not changing in angular size throughout the day uh, and how this means it's very, very far away, um, such that as we rotate towards it, uh, it can only get about 6,371 kilometers closer, which is nothing compared to the 150 million kilometer distance to the sun. Uh, on a flat earth with a local sun, uh, obviously we'd expect a significant change in its angular size. Uh, now I have already measured the sun close to the horizon and then overhead uh, and shown that it does not change angular size over the course of the day. Uh, and if you want to see that, uh, it's actually on my TikTok, so I'll stick a link to that in the description. The conversation between me and Witsit then turned to the moon, uh, which we agree should change in angular size over the course of the night, uh, since that change in distance of you know up to 6,000 kilometers is significant uh, when the moon is only 380,000 kilometers away. Uh, Witsit said he'd never seen this measured before, uh, so I just said I'd get some shots the next time I had a clear night. So here is that first shot. Uh, so you can see on the right, uh, I took it on the night of the 4th of November at 7.28 p.m. Uh, at full optical zoom on my P900. Uh, and the moon was about 16 degrees above the horizon. And I've grabbed the parallactic angle from Stellarium. Uh, this number just tells you sort of how the moon is oriented to the observer. And that will come in handy in a minute. Then I zoomed into both sides of the image, uh, grabbed the pixel coordinates of each side, and it was 2,576 pixels wide. Uh, and here's the next shot, which was about four hours later, uh, as the moon was passing my meridian, uh, and it was about 42 degrees above the horizon. Uh, so I've rotated towards it a little bit, so it should be closer uh, and therefore appear a bit bigger. Uh, and the parallactic angle here is 179.74 degrees. So if I want to compare the same edges of the moon that I measured in the first photo, then I need to rotate the image by 48.43 degrees. And here's that image. Uh, and again, I've just grabbed the pixel coordinates of the edges and I get a width of 2,598 pixels. And here are the results. Uh, so the first two rows are straight from Stellarium. Uh, it predicts a change in angular size of 0.85%. Uh, and that's due to the distance shrinking by 0.84%. Uh, uh, now you might be wondering why that number isn't 0.85% as well. Uh, and that's because that whole double the distance, half the angular size idea isn't technically correct. Uh, it's a very good approximation when you're dealing with these really small angles, but it does break down uh, as those angles get bigger. And in the first pick, uh, the moon was 2,576 pixels wide, and in the second one, it's 2,598 pixels wide, which is 22 pixels bigger. And that is a change of 0.85%. Uh, now, to be fair, that's a pretty lucky result. Uh, I could easily have been off by one pixel uh, in any of those measurements. Um, so let's say I only got 21 pixels bigger, uh, then the change would be 0.82%, not 0.85. Or let's say 20 pixels, the change would be 0.78. Uh, so there you go, just a quick one. Uh, and really just another data point that confirms the globe. All right, see you, see you.